Welcome back to the Vegan Proteins YouTube channel. This is Giacomo Marchese, and today I'm going to talk about five things that greatly helped my mental health. The first thing, meditation. Meditation is one of those things where it's like, really, I'm just going to sit here and stand still. I'm just going to sit here and just take some time. Like I could do that anytime. I could just lay down on the couch. It's not doing anything for me in the moment. It's not really helping me. It's one of those things where you really have to practice it over time to realize the benefits. Meditation helps you be a more aware person and awareness is helpful. Meditation helps you be a more accepting person and acceptance is helpful. And with that, you become less reactive and you literally create space for yourself where you become a better person for others, for yourself and how you show up in the world in general. And a lot of people give up on meditation because when they don't give it a chance to work and they're expecting something in the moment, or they're expecting something a week from now, or they're expecting something tangible, they wind up not giving it a chance or feeling like, in my opinion, feeling like it doesn't work. It's one of those things where it builds up over time and then you turn around three months later like, ha, <laughs> I'm so much more accepting and I'm so much more aware than I used to be because I have meditated regularly. It's like putting coins in a bank, just like training. You turn around one day, you're like, ah, I'm so much stronger, I could do so much more. Journaling, and I don't just mean journaling, hi, today was my day, I did this, I was a little annoyed at that, and I'm gonna go to bed. It's not just journaling per se, as far as like how your day has gone, or this or that, it's journaling with intention. For me, when I journal, my emotions out specifically, I think of a couple of different primary emotions, both negative ones and positive ones. And I lump them up together in my head and then I start journaling. Sometimes I literally use those words. I'll make it an intention and use a word like disgust or, you, or use a word like excited or, and, and or use a word like sad. Like I will literally force myself to use feeling words inside of my journaling process. I'll write them out as opposed to just journaling randomly. It's with intention. And I utilize journaling as a way to have things to specifically work on, whether it's my self-esteem or whatever. A lot of stuff I actually get from professionals like therapy, which leads me to my next point. Having a therapist in your corner. For talk therapy specifically, therapy means something different for everyone and there's all kinds of things that you can do in terms of therapy. Like for example, you can, well, meditation is a form of something that is therapeutic, right? Or you could say like, I'm gonna go out and, and just do something or whatever, um, you know, take my mind off of things. That can be therapeutic, so to speak right? Or the journaling, but to actually have a professional who can see your blind spots, help you put the work in on yourself and realize what you're lacking, seeing things about yourself that you can't, not just getting a chance to do a brain dump or talk things out by yourself or with a loved one or with a stranger or whomever. I mean, we all communicate in different ways and show up in the world different ways and you get a chance to like focus on yourself and work on yourself, right? By having the support of others a professional who is specifically trained in working with you on your mental health and seeing things that you can't see and giving you things to work on and getting you a chance, giving you a chance, excuse me, to talk things out. Talk therapy is, is wonderful. Having access to that can make a world of a difference for your mental health. Having fun. If you're showing up and you're watching this video, chances are you're on a, a coaching channel, right? You're probably the type of person that wants to get better at something or be the best at something or work on something like yourself or just getting stronger or blah, 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 or just like winning a game, just having fun. I have struggled with this for a while, especially being a coach. I have gotten into that, into that place where if I'm not getting better at something, I ain't gonna do it. Even if it's a hobby, if I'm not improving or gaining a skill, I'm not gonna do it. When I say just having fun, I literally mean just having fun. Not a hobby, not something I want to gain like a skill in something. I mean, literally just enjoying life. Going on a walk just for the sake of it. Going on a bike ride just for the sake of it. Going on a hike just for the sake of it. Going out and, and just 
whatever, you know, not having it, not having something I do being attached to it being a chore or being attached to like improving on something, literally just having fun, whatever that means to you. And finally, the fifth one is sleep. Sleeping more and improving your quality of sleep. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Don't have caffeine after 2 p.m. Sleep in a cool, dark room. Try ambient noise or something, yeah, like something like a sound machine, aromatherapy, throwing some lavender on your pillow. These kinds of things, and there's so many more. I mean, I could rattle off a list, but just maybe Google or like look up or think about things that you already know you can do to improve your sleep hygiene. Making sure you have enough time, set aside enough time for sleep. Have your sleep cycle be routine, going to bed at a similar time every night, waking up at a similar time every morning and squeezing in sleep when you can. Not using sleep as a, as a way to improve your mental health by just trying to sleep too much or just sleeping whenever and however you can, but just focusing on quality sleep hygiene. It can make a world of a difference for how you're able to focus. It improves your mood and it improves your mental health in general. These are five things that greatly helped my mental health. We not only obviously talk about how to eat right and how to train hard, we also like focusing on mental health because just like learning how to eat right and eating well, and just like training, you don't just get those things. You're not just a healthy person without focusing on eating healthy. You're not just a stronger person just by thinking about it. You have to do these things. Mental health is one of those things that is not, it's not given, it's not a given, it's earned. And there are things that you can do to help improve your mental health. These are five things that work to me. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, throw some comments down below. Let us know what you want us to talk about and we'll catch you on the next episode.